All right, folks, welcome back. I put together a massive video today. You're going to want to stick all the way through this because there is a lot. First, we will just jump straight into what are the few things affecting the price of silver right now as it has dipped. Then we will go into why August is such a critically important month for silver and more. There is a lot happening. And uh, if you like silver news brought to you on a daily basis, well, make sure you click subscribe because I will do just that. You cannot be blindfully investing in today's day and age. You have to be kept in the loop and I will do that for you. So silver price forecast, silver extends decline near $29 amid China's demand concerns. So some of the key notes are silver prices trade in the negative territory around 29 for the fifth straight day on Tuesday, down 0.35% on the day. China's demand concerns exert some selling pressure on silver. The Fed's potential interest rate cuts and political uncertainty might cap silver's downside. Now, silver extends downside near $29 during the Asian session on Tuesday. The white metal edges lower amid a slowing Chinese economy. This was written today, by the way, July 23rd. Investors will take some more cues from the key U.S. economic data later this week, including the first reading of the U.S. S&P Global Purchasing Managers Index, or the PMI for July, gross domestic products, or the GDP, for the next or the second quarter of the personal consumption expenditures price index, which is the PCE data for June. Industrial demand concerns from China's economic slowdown continued to undermine silver price in the previous sessions. The Chinese GDP for the second quarter was weaker than expected and retail sales increased at the slowest pace since 2022. It's worth noting that China is a major consumer of industrial metals and China's economic slowdown could weigh on the price of silver. Now, I think that is a little bit uh, silly for people to genuinely think that China's economic slowdown would affect any type of demand to a noticeable degree. Yes, China is one of the biggest consumers of silver. India was actually the biggest consumer this year, importing more silver in the first four quarters of this year than the entirety of last year. And then the year before that, they imported insane, un unfathomable amounts of silver. So it's not like it's just China as the main country. Everyone, all these countries are. But still, regardless of that, in the last four years, we've had 770 million ounces of silver in the red. That's a deficit of 770 million ounces, 250 million ounces in the red this year. So just because China's uh, economy might be slowing down a bit, that shouldn't affect demand to the degree of people actually being hesitant. That just seems a little irrational. But anyways, on the other hand, the rising bets of the Federal Reserve, rate cuts in September might lift the white metal. The New York president, John Williams, and federal government Christopher Waller noted that the Fed is getting closer to where it wants to be in terms of rate cuts. According to the CME FedWatch tool, traders in the Fed funds futures markets have fully priced in rate cuts in September with at least two quarter point cuts in 2024. Furthermore, political uncertainty after U.S. President Joe Biden's withdrawal from the 2024 election might support silver for the time being. And yeah, that's going to be uh, a, a very messy situation. We already saw Kamala getting like $81 million in, um, no, in donations within like the first 24 hours. So a lot of people are hyping her up. A lot of people are just everywhere. We also saw the, you know, the, um, uh, Director Cheadle get it, uh, resigning, I guess, from the Secret Service, which is big news. Uh, I'm very, very uh, happy that happened because that whole situation is just a complete mess. Um, but regardless, there is a lot happening. We do have to look at, by the way, we're still going to be going over uh, August and we'll be going over what has happened with the dollar as well. Right now, though, let's just show a little bit of the, the price targets, this forecast, so we can look at the nitty gritty behind the scenes of what silver's doing right now as we speak. So silver tested the initial resistance at 29.30 and kept its stability below it to start providing negative trades now. Waiting to test $28.55 as a first station, which breaking it represents the key to rally towards $27.62 as a next negative target. Stochastic losses 
its or loses its positive momentum clearly to support expectations to decline in the upcoming sessions, reminding you that the continuation of the bearish wave depends on the price stability below $29.30 and the $30.06 levels. The expected trading range for today is 28.50, and or, which is the support at 28.50 and resistance at 29.35. Uh, forecast is bearish. Now, let's go into some other news that came out today. U.S. dollar extends gains ahead of PCE. U.S. dollar experiences a restricted gain as falling U.S. Treasury yields may pose challenges during the session. U.S. political changes continue to influence and core PCE to be on focus next week. Fed officials maintain their data-dependent stance, keeping markets on their toes. On Tuesday, the U.S. dollar measured by the DXY witnessed a slight rise, albeit falling. U.S. Treasury yields are expected to pose a significant challenge for the rest of the session. This comes amidst expected shifts in financial markets due to new hints about economic plans from former President Donald Trump after Joe Biden's exit. The focus is still on higher-tier data due this week. So like we said just in the last article, there's a lot of upcoming events, a lot of upcoming announcements that's going to affect the price. So just be, you know, just be mindful that there's going to be a lot of choppiness, but we still have to go into the article uh, talking about August's critical role it plays as well. So not only just in the next few weeks, but also the next few months, there's so much. And then we have October, which is the huge BRICS meeting, like 150 something countries joining. And then we have the election in November. So it's going to be a very, very chaotic time for not just silver, but all markets across the board. And I'm sure people's emotions as well. So, given signs of disinflation in the U.S., markets express optimism over potential rate adjustments in September. Even with these shifts on the horizon, Federal Reserve officials have reiterated their cautious approach towards deciding on rate changes, hence keeping the markets on their toes. Major indicators to watch out for over the week include personal consumption, expenditures of the PCE, and gross domestic products of the GDP second quarter revisions. So um, here's the daily digest market movers. U.S. dollar mildly up as focus shifts to PCE. And you all know that when the dollar index is up or stronger, gold and silver is down and vice versa. When the dollar index is down, gold and silver goes up. So mid-tier housing data came in lower than expected with existing home sales posting a higher than expected monthly drop in June, but didn't trigger major movements on the U.S. dollar. Weaker Richmond Fed Manufacturing Index didn't stop the U.S. dollar bulls from advancing. On Friday, forecast placed the core PCE at 0.16%, um, and that's an increase. It's an increase, and the spending is projected at 0.3%. Now, the CME FedWatch tool indicates a highly probable rate cut in September, although GDP and PCE data are set to determine this week's dynamics for the dollar. So we have to see what is going to, I guess, play out with the dollar. And I guess, you know, in the meantime, you can speculate all you want. You could assume. You can, you can do whatever you want right now. This is obviously a great time to buy the dips as silver broke past 12 year highs, just, you know, not only a few weeks ago, we're going to see, you know, about a month ago, we're going to see a lot of back and forth, but we are still on the road upwards. Remember what silver was at in the beginning of the year, and now look where it's at. And it's only going to be, um, it's only going to be gaining momentum, like I said, with all the, these foreseen events. So here's the price analysis for August of 2024, a thorough test of the line in the sand level. Silver price chart suggests that August will be a decisive month for silver, like I was just mentioning. August will either offer an epic buy the dip opportunity, the last one before the big rally starts, or it will be a breakdown month. So you can see how they worded that and how they're perceiving this. It's either, regardless, it's either a great way to enter the market one last time before the rally, or we'll see what happens. Will, there's going to be a lot happening. So as the market likes to play games, we might also have a failed breakdown below the decisive 2880 level. A failed breakdown would lead to a recovery after three, five, eight, or 13 days. That's a that's important to note as well. So silver experienced a steep drop in recent days. This should not come as a surprise as we have been warning for weeks that precious metals leading indicators are in red hot state. 
So with that said, if we look at the short term time frame, focusing only on silver price chart, excluding the more important leading indicators, we see a steep drop to silver's breakout level. Our silver price prediction for 2024 of $34.70, which is the same price target as their 2023 forecast, is once again postponed, even though silver came very, very close to our target on May 20th, 2024, where it was at $32.50. Now remember though, silver was at $32.50 not that long ago, just about a month ago, less than a month ago. So if we, and actually, if you look at this pattern, I wish I could, I should pull up the, uh, like a year to day chart. Silver has this very, um, this very uh, obvious pattern of a gradual approach where prices stabilize. They get like the average price of silver for the last 10, 11 years has been $15. Like when the, mo the majority of me stacking silver, I've been buying silver for well under $20. So if you see silver now easily sitting at $29, $30, then that speaks for itself. If you're looking at this for more than a, a quick get rich quick scheme within a matter of one to two years, some people that is their intent and that is going to burn them. So there are many catalysts that will create big swings in the price of silver. The only question is which direction, one direction, two direction, multiple swings up and down. The catalyst for August, a potentially historic meeting in which the U.S. Fed will create or make a rate cut decision. Alternatively, share if, when rate cuts are to be expected. That's happening in August. So more situations, August, October, November, the last month of silver's three-month cycle, the dollar trading at its critical 104.01 point level or, re or level is ready to move in any direction which will also be huge for affecting the price of silver, a volatility window in markets according to our timeline analysis. In other words, August will be a decisive month for silver investors. So here are some dates. So 38.2% of 400 days, this equals approximately 150, uh, 153 days. It, well, let me give some context. So in this article published on our LinkedIn account, the most insightful silver chart analysis you will ever read, we calculated two dates that might be decisive for silver. Okay, so this is the context. So around 153 days, based on this, we estimate that the consolidation around the breakout level of 2888 might continue until November 8th, 2024, which that's only a few days after the election. So around this date, silver could start its next bullish phase, potentially reaching 50. This date is represented by the first yellow vertical line on the chart. Now, don't take these as for sure things to put your money on, pun intended. It shouldn't even be about silver reaching 50. Because even if silver stays at $30 for the next five years, if you, you would think that you didn't make any money if silver, if you have all your silver and it's still sitting at $30 in the next five years, but you actually saved a lot because if you would have kept all that money in your savings account, it's burning away due to inflation. It's losing its purchasing power. The dollar's lost 98% of its purchasing power. So it's like a, it's a preservation of wealth. It's putting your money in a time capsule while the dollars in your bank account are quickly just collapsing or going to zero. So you can look at it this way, that way, or this way, but at the end of the day, you just gotta look at the facts. It's a preservation of wealth with opportunity on top of it, but it is not a get rich quick scheme. 50% of 400 days, which is the result of 200 days, brings us to January 21st, 2025. This is another critical day where we might see significant movements in silver's price. This day is represented by the second yellow vertical line on the chart. So by applying Fibonacci principles to both price and time, you can provide a more comprehensive analysis of the market. This approach sets us our methodology apart, offering deeper insights into the potential future movements of silver. So I also, um, I covered an article where ChatGPT 4.0, which is the newest version of AI, gave some silver price analysis or, or gave some forecasts. And it was very interesting to see what they were saying they were actually saying um, silver could be 38 or I think it's 38 to $45 by the end of the year they were mentioning. But 
and they gave a lot of different scenarios on why they were they're programmed to incorporate all the different things and this was actually they gave that price forecast that prediction after the dip this wasn't something that happened a couple weeks ago or a couple days ago this was fresh as soon as the dip happened a couple days ago they asked chat gpt 4.0 what their thoughts were they incorporated the dip into their uh, into their reasoning behind it if you guys want to go check out that video um, it's one of my last i think it's my most recent video maybe two videos ago very interesting though and very insightful they also went over uh the bearish side of things and how that could play out as well but it also gave a probability of each scenario in which is most likely to happen, which I also think is, um, it's very, you know, it, it's very interesting to look at all these things because it is, a, a, everything affects the price of silver um, in this way, that way, this amount, this percentage. But at the end of the day, you have to just look at why we're investing into silver, right? Why? You can, I mean, you could look at it, you could be a skeptic, you can be on the fence, you can be completely bullish, you can be bearish, but at the end of the day, it's a safe haven asset, and it's that simple. You're putting your money into something that holds its value that's been money since the beginning of man, and that will never change. And looking at why silver is valuable, as it's the most highly conductive metal. So it's not like another asset or another stock where people are hyping it up, and maybe there's, it's, there's much different it, it, it's a much different type of investment than that it shouldn't even call it an investment it's a much different type of of asset or way to put your money into something that has intrinsic value so anyways i'll shut up for now i hope you guys enjoyed this uh video if you did make sure to like the video if you guys wanted to join the secret silver society then um, I'll post a link in the description. It's a secret group for silver stackers. Every month, someone in the club wins silver. We do a silver raffle at the end of every month. The, the upcoming raffle is July 31st. $5 a month for basic members. You get one raffle. $15 elite members. You get two raffle tickets. We also have the members-only discussion board where we talk about lots of different stuff. It's a live board, so we're all, you know, a lot of us are introducing ourselves in there since it's it, this is a new group. Group. I'm posting pictures, articles, asking questions. It's a lot of fun. So go check that out. And if you wanted to purchase silver, you can email me slayer at milesfranklin.com or call me 330-485-6172. I will hook you guys up. Great prices. We have half dollars, 250 over spot. Lots of different stuff. Buffalo rounds, 235. So much stuff. And it's all for great prices. And I promise you will not regret it. Thanks for tuning in. This was Silver Slayer. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.